happening now, we're learning more about the Pima County Prosperity Initiative that was recently adopted. Now, there are 13 different policies that were voted on and approved by the Board of Supervisors that look at how the county is able to combat poverty. So those are broken down into education, critical family resources, asset building and infrastructure priorities and cross policy strategies. 13 News reporter Jack Cooper joining us live in studio this morning. And Jack, you spoke with a couple of the supervisors. What are they telling you? Yeah, Carson, good morning. That's right. I spoke with Steve Christie, who is against this measure, and then Matt Hines, one of the three who actually voted in favor of these new policies. We're going to start with Christie. He says there's a number of reasons why he did not vote for this, but the most concerning to him was that this was voted on before Sharon Bronson's seat was actually filled. Also, the no mention of any money and no expected input from the private sector also worried him. He also added that Pima County needs to allow different kinds of business that bring high pay jobs to the area to help poverty, something not outlined in the initiative. I'm all in favor of responsible, environmentally conscious uh, industries, uh, but the extent of the climate change and the Green New Deals that my uh, uh, colleagues seem to be promoting is going to be a real hit hindrance to bringing in uh, companies into our community. They need to cease and desist with that type of ideological philosophy. Meanwhile, Supervisor Hines likes the measure. He says this has a chance to be very impactful, especially since all local governments will have the chance to work together on this. And when it comes to money, he says this is still very early on. And when there is a price, we can expect to see that become, be, come before the voter to make a decision. I think this has been a long time coming, and the fact that these 13 major points were all so data-driven, we know this will help because it helped in these other places when it was implemented in this and that way, right? Having such care uh, being taken to, to make recommendations that we know will have a, the positive impact we're looking to, to create for the community. Now, the Prosperity Initiative will head on over to the city of Tucson to be voted on to see if it's going to be approved there. That's happening at the beginning of the new year. We'll make sure to watch it closely for you and let you know any updates that come with it. Live in studio, I'm Jack Cooper, 13 News. All right, Jack, thank you. Speaking of Pima County supervisors, they are now full.